Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwadner, and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today, we have a great uh, performer, uh, entertainer, uh, successful entrepreneur, and author, Robert Workman. Welcome to Selling Power TV. Thank you very much, Gerhard. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Anything that says has a title like Selling Power, can I raise my hand? I'd like to be there. The title of your, your book is uh, Selling the Most Dangerous Game, and uh, uh, you designed a cover that uh, looks like a, a crime novel. Yes, I did. I, I'm given to those personally, but uh, this is the second release of this book. We brought it back out because I had it in all the airports, came out, had it on the, the top of the racks at Atlanta Hartsfield, and then COVID hit. So now I'm getting it back out to airports in a new format. It's a little four by seven pocketbook, like an old mystery novel. I just wanted to grab their attention and grab it, selling the most dangerous game. What is this? If they just ask, what is this and pick it up, I've won. Explain your background. Do you have an advertising background? I started out life as a writer. I always wrote. When I was six years old, I got my brother's typewriter and wrote a little index card story. So getting out of school, I had a a degree in television and film. I had a master's degree in screenwriting. I really wanted to be a screenwriter because I thought that's the new way to tell stories. I decided I hated the industry. I just hated the industry, but I loved writing. So I didn't know what to do. I saw an ad in the paper, writer needed. Writer needed. So I showed up with all my stuff. It was writing sales training materials for a brand new company, developing brand new modular sales training and sales management training programs. So I got immersed in sales training by learning it from the research given to me and writing it. After about six of those modules about prospecting and making presentations and setting appointments and closing deals and all that, I went into the boss and said, hey, Joe, this is kind of fun. This sounds kind of fun. Do you think I could give it a try? And he goes, he sits back like this and goes, you, a, sale, a writer, want to go into sales? Okay. So what was your first most memorable sale? Uh, you're asking about my most memorable sale. For three, we were on a three-month uh, forgiveness of draw. You got your draw as a base for three months. Now, after that, it was draw against commission. I went all three months and didn't sell a damn thing. I had people ready to buy, ready to buy, ready to buy. And it wasn't because I couldn't close. It was just they were getting ready for a brand new con. My very first deal I brought in was the first day of going off of the forgiveness onto <laughs> <laughs> draw against commission. And I brought in a half million dollar deal. <laughs> what is dangerous about selling? When you're a new person and you go tell your family that you've decided you're going to go into sales, what's the first thing you're going to say? Sales? There's no security in sales. All the conditioning factors that are in our minds that we've had all of our lives. Children should be seen, not heard. Don't go where you're not wanted. Don't speak till you're spoken to. Now I'm a salesperson and you're telling me, wait a second, I have to go where I'm not wanted. All my life I've been telling you told not to go where, where I'm not wanted. And now you're telling me to speak before being spoken to? We have this built in, all of us do. It's how to overcome that. And when you do, you're one of very few in the world and other people envy you. When you start making 300,000 a year and you're a sales guy, all of a sudden, oh, sales, God, all they do is make money, take their clients out, live on expense accounts, travel and eat well. You know, sales is an easy job, okay. Whenever I heard that, when I was in sales management, I would say, you know, we got a booth open or we got a territory open. Why don't you give it a try? You can, go, you can start right now. Boom! Break the 100 meter dash record out of, the, out of the Olympic Games. They never took me up on it. Not one ever. I mean, sales get hit with everything. So what you have to learn and understand is that, yes, you are highly desired. You are also expendable and you will be expended. It's a matter of time and conditions. And if you know that, then at least you can deal with it. And I show you how to deal with it in my book. You have to build an ironclad identity, feeling of self-worth, self-belief to deal with the adversities that you right. encounter in sales. Now, everybody has an elevator pitch, but it, it's about their job, their company, their, their product, their service. What's your elevator pitch? For you, if I asked you, who are you? I don't want to hear about your job. I don't want to hear about where you went to school. I want to hear about you. Right. And, and so many people are just totally disarmed by that. I was because I'm right in that transitional period. But as soon as I got my mind locked in, bam, I could write it right out again. And I think that's why people need to head over to Amazon.com <laughs> and uh, get a copy of Selling is the Most Dangerous Game by Robert Workman because 
He's not an empty suit. Uh, he's <laughs> a fertile mind. Thank you very much. I, I really appreciate that. And I, you know, I, I know you do webinars sometimes. My favorite, I have about five webinars. I deliver. My favorite one is simply called How to Make Yourself Indestructible. So when did you get your first Ferrari? One day I'm working in my office with Joe Charbonneau. I'm writing. It's a semi-dark room. I'm writing away. He blows in there. If you know Joe, I mean, he is just the round mound of sound. Just blows into my office with an ad. And what it says is, only those who dare truly live. So he blows. He says, Robert, that is your car. And he pins that ad up on my bulletin board. That is your car. You need that car. You should be driving that car. That is your car. I said, don't do that to me, Joe. I'll never have a car like that. Never say never, Robert. Never say never. That is your car out the door. Five years later, I'm driving a yellow version of that car. <laughs> How can people find you, get in touch with you and take a ride in your Ferrari? My website is simply hiredgun.us. Go to the little button on the nav bar at the top says videos and just click it. A video will automatically play and you can take a ride with me in my Ferrari because it's a 55 second video titled Talk to the Boss. I also want to recommend to the audience to go to YouTube and um, put in Claude Lelouch, Ferrari, Paris. It's amazing. That was him driving that car. I have, oh my God, yes. Paul Gerhardt's advice, go watch that. <laughs> I really appreciate you uh, you're sharing your need for speed uh, because uh, life is very short and the faster you, you go, the more you're going to see. I believe your identity is your single greatest asset. Your single greatest asset that you have is you. Second to that, is your single greatest power, and that's a choice. And the faster you go, the more choices you have.